Welcome to Azure in 5 Minutes. I'm Thiago Passos, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your CI and CD pipeline with Visual Studio Team Services for your Azure functions. All right, so let's get started. So I've got Visual Studio here open, and for that I'm using the Azure Functions template um, to get started with um, .NET Core with Azure Functions. Okay, um, the whole source code is available on my GitHub. If you want to check it out, I'm going to provide the link below. Um, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that just to make sure it, it works locally. And I'm going to just copy the URL to make sure it works in the browser. All right. I'm going to paste that. And that's working fine. Cool. All right. So what should I do next? All right. So now I'm going to go to View Studio, um, to Yes, Yes. And I'm going to create a new pipeline. Okay, so I'm going to choose new pipeline here. And I'm going to select GitHub because I'm using um, this repository here to build and deploy. Okay, so I'm going to authorize here. So Thiago Spassus. And now I can access my repositories. So I can click here and I'm going to choose the enterprise functions. Okay, I'm going to choose the master branch and I'm going to continue. All right, I'm using .NET Core for my Azure functions, so I can um, easily uh, pick this template here. So I'm going to apply this template. All right, so with this template, it creates all these steps that you need for your application to, to build, right? So it's going to create the restore, build, test, and publish. That's pretty much all you need. The only change that you need to make here is in the publish because it's not a web project. Um, so you have to basically untick this and let all the projects to be published. Okay, uh, you can specify uh, which one you want to publish specifically, but in this case, I'm just going to publish everything, um, and that's it. So we're going to save and queue, and that's going to kick off the build um, process. Okay, all right. So it's all done. Uh, it Finished building and it creates um, it created this bunch of artifacts. So if I op open the drop folder here, uh, you're gonna see that we have a bunch of zip files. So the one I want to publish, I want to deploy to my function app is this enterprise function, right? So I'm gonna close that and now I'm gonna create a new release. I can create a new pipeline here. All right, so now I can create um, my uh, CD pipeline, so I can uh, choose between one of these options or I can just create an empty process. So you can see that the first one here um, is actually to deploy function app. So I'm going to apply this one and I'm going to just set as a dev environment for now. And I'm going to close this. Um, in the artifact here, what, uh, what I'm going to pick is the one that I just generated. So from the demo function CICD. Okay, so I'm gonna get the latest. That's that's it. That's for this part here, this is done. Uh, I can set up the continuous uh, deployment here as well. And now what I need to do is I can start setting up the tasks to actually deploy. Alright, so I've got something that requires some attention here. And all I need to do here is put my subscription. Uh, I'm just going to pick, I think that's the one I put by. All right, so once this is authorized, I can then pick the application type I want to deploy, which is a function app. And I can pick the ones available um, in my subscription. So that's the one I created earlier, func CICD. And I just want to deploy to it, OK? So that's it. And in my deploy Azure app service, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select which package I want to deploy. Because if I leave the way it is, it's going to try to deploy all the packages available. And um, I just want to deploy that enterprise function. All right, so I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to pick that uh, zip file. So this one. And that's it. OK. So we can set up some variables and, and things like that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave the way it is. Okay. I'm going to save that. 
and I'm going to create a new release. Okay, I'm going to let it run automatically uh, to deploy, and I'll let it go. All right, so there you go. It finished deploying, and now I'm going to check in the portal to see if the function is there. Okay. I'm going to come here, I'm going to press on the refresh button, and I should see some functions coming up. All right, so I've got some functions here, and I just want to test one of them to see if everything is working as expected. All right, I've got my function here, I'm going to copy the URL, and I'm going to go straight to the tab and run it. Cool. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up, um, and don't forget to subscribe. If you do have any questions, please let me know and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.